In today's video, we learn how to create grass material in 3ds Max very using particle flow. If you've been following our tutorials, you might uh, recognize the scene we are using today. It's the same one from our previous uh, grass tutorial. I'm using a simple plane, a noise modifier, a UVW map and a turbos. So let's get right to it. Press 6 to open up a particle view or select particle flow source in the particle systems menu in the command panel. Click and drag to create a source anywhere in the viewport. This automatically creates a preset flow in the particle view with some basic presets. As you can see, I've uh, generated some organic forms or shapes for the grass object using the graphite modeling tools that we covered. We will uh, use this to simulate the various grass strands. Keep in mind that the particles take the pivot point of the object into account. That is the local Z should be pointing upwards. And the pivot should be at the base of the object. The key is creating the most variation and detail possible using the least number of faces in the model. I'll now open a particle view by pressing 6 so from the command panel and select particle view. In this case, I would like to select and drag an empty flow in the particle view. Then I'll drag a bath operator which will create a new event. Connect the event to the PV source 001. Add a position object operator. Confirm that uh, you are at frame 0. Bath parameters keep the particles static, keep emit stop at zero and increase the number of particles to 200,000. We'll add a position object which is our loan or plane. Before we continue, select particle flow. Under system management, we need to set the upper limit parameter to accommodate the total number of particles generated. I'll add a few extra zeros. Uh, only 50% of the total particles in the viewport are displayed. I now drag and drop a shape instance operator to the event and select our first grass object. We'll set the display to geometry. Add variation to the grass by adding the rotation and the scale operators.
set the orientation to random horizontal and set the divergence to 80. We can tweak the scale parameters before we add the other grass strands set to 30% variation. Select and duplicate the event as a copy. We'll repeat the process, create a second event and connect it to the source. Under the shape instance, select our object. This event will populate the second grass strand. As we've created a copy of the previous event and are using the same position operator, we will need to change the seed parameter to vary the origin of the particles. We'll increase the divergence as well as increase the scale factor. We'll repeat the process, create a third and fourth event and connect each event to the source. Replace the object strand and change the seed and scale factor. I'll now assign a grass texture to our organic forms, V-Ray bitmap, I'll choose this as my texture map, connect it to the diffuse map, repeat the same for the specular and bump map, connect each to the respective ports. Assign material to selection. Let's tweak some of the parameters. Reduce the glossiness amount to 0 0.65. Under the map tab, I'm going to reduce the reflection amount. Let's assign a texture for our plane which acts as the ground. Make a copy by holding down shift and both materials. Add a color correction map. Let's assign it to the plane and uh, adjust the UVW map settings to your liking. Tweak the hue and saturation color. Increase the gamma to about 
connect the bump map to act as a reflection map so that we can get an even reflections. Reduce the blurriness amount so we can get a sharp result. And the diffuse as well, about uh, 0 0.5. Increase the bump amount to about 60. Let's now create a translucency effect. We achieve this by adding a V-ray to side in material. Connect the grass material to the front. Use an additional V-ray material. Give it a light green color and connect it to the backside. Enable it and reduce the translucency a bit. Let's begin interactive rendering to see what we have. So uh, this is the result after some post-processing. In this video, we learned another way of creating realistic grass in 3ds Max Vire using particle flow. As always, please thumbs up the video, it really helps. Subscribe and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or suggestions or in which areas you need clarification.